Let's work on question number seven. No calculator. Let's write this trinomial in this vertex form for this quadratic. So we're going to focus on this x squared minus 8x. Going to rewrite it as x, and then half of negative 8 is negative 4. I'm going to write it like that. So when you think about it, using FOIL, this becomes x squared. You multiply these, it becomes negative 4x, and double it, it becomes negative 8x. So we successfully reconstructed the first two terms. However, using the letter L, FOIL, you get last. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. So this generates 16 too much. So to compensate for this extra 16, I'm going to go minus 16. So this part here is equivalent to this part here. Of course, we still have the plus 25. So we'll write it this way. And 25 minus 16 is equal to 9. So we have x minus 4 squared plus 9. Our p-value is 4, and our q-value is 9. So from this, we know that the vertex is going to be at 4, 9. This here is the p-value. This here is the q-value. This here is the p-value. This is the q-value. This is the vertex. And if you think about it, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 9 is up here. So the vertex is going to be up here on the graph. And the a value here is positive 1. So this is a positive. It means we have a happy face rather than a sad face. It's going to look like this. Now with no calculator for 7b, find the maximum value. So when we have 1 over this same function cubed, this is cubed, but this here happens to be uh, the function inside these brackets. If we think it through, we know the maximum value must happen at x equals 4. Let's think about why. At x equals 4, over here, you can see that this inside part, the function, happens to be this high, which is a value of 9. Now when we have 1 over 9 cubed, or 1 over 9, it's going to be a pretty small number. But let's think about if the x was some other value besides 4. What if we chose a value of 2? So here, we're going to end up with a bigger y value for this function here in part a. So if we're to choose a number other than 4, for example 2, you can see that the y value is greater for this function. When you have 1 over a greater number, it ends up being smaller. 1 over a bigger number ends up being smaller. In fact, if it's huge, it ends up being 1 over some almost infinity. This tends towards the value of 0. Now, of course, that bigger number cubed ends up even bigger, so it gets smaller exponentially. So we can reason that the number 4, this minimum here, when you go 1 over, becomes the maximum. So we're going to choose x equals 4. So what we have here, the max, is 1 over. We have 4 squared minus 8 times 4 plus 25 cubed. And of course, you can use your graphing calculator to visualize this. And the answer is 1 over 729.